Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Yes, we are back in the modern world of Millennium Dawn and ready for some great economic management and politics. Now, you all have absolutely loved these videos so far, easily the most popular things that have been on my channel. If you really want to see more of these, make sure to like the video right now. If this video can get 6,000 likes in the next couple days, I will do another one of these. But to make sure the video does well, we need to make sure that we pick a very good nation. I mean, just look at these options. We can turn China into the superpower of tomorrow. Perhaps bring back the Roman Empire, not have sexual relations with that woman because of course not guys come on come on we play hearts of iron let's be real here but i'm gonna say no to all these we need to pick the best nation possible north korea <laughs> ah kim jong il and the hermit kingdom don't be so lonely if you will kim jong it'll make you sick it might make you even ill god damn it okay i'll shut up holy shit we have such bad effects on us right now are you kidding me <laughs> these are awful oh they, I, they, I can already tell this is gonna be awful i mean come on let's just show how powerful north korea is we got grand bonuses like a totalitarian government being sanctioned by the international world starvation a collapsing industry fucking south koreans blasting propaganda and k-pop over the freaking border i'm not even kidding if you don't know that that's actually a thing no straight up south korea blast k-pop over the border with north korea just to fuck with them it's amazing and of course who can forget communist politics and all the infighting that comes with it and my friends without further ado let's go ahead and begin Ah uh, yes, North Korea, hacking the Pentagon. Perfect. We're off to a great start. But do you know what might actually protect you from the digital mafia? Today's sponsor, NordVPN. Listen guys, all I'm saying is we live in a day and age of ever evolving technology. And while of course that makes it decreasingly less likely that Luigi here is gonna show up in your house at 3 a.m. to break your kneecaps, it does also mean that it is more likely that his little brother is going to hack your computer through the internet and then take your credit card info to buy $300 worth of Robux. And listen, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is I don't want that to happen to you. So it is in your best interest to get yourself a VPN. And of course, if I'm going to offer you protection, then it's got to be the best. NordVPN is easily one of the fastest VPNs that you can get out there. And you can use it to open up the entire world's catalog of streaming options by simply changing your IP address. This, of course, is going to give you access to all different kinds of region locked content that is significantly better than the, uh, the bootleg discs that Vinny sells over here behind the bowling alley. Whether it is phishing, whether it is malware or ransomware or anything like that, NordVPN has you covered and you can count on it for protection. Because check this out, right now you can get a two-year plan plus one month free if you use the link down in my description, and also additional subscription time on top of that because there is a birthday campaign going on right now. And every purchase comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you don't like it, well, now you don't have to worry about that then. Listen, you want some protection? You get it. Don't be sleeping with the fishes. Okay, thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video and I will let you get back to the show. Let's see, what do we have here from the beginning? Horrible, horrible debt, holy shit. We also have nothing in the way of political power. We're not gaining anything, what the hell? And simultaneously, we have the most corrupt state I have ever seen. Holy shit, holy shit, this is so bad. What else do we have here? A stagnant economy, which I'm just gonna go ahead and do this right now to inject money into the system. We have large civil service costs, gigantic military spending, a police state, only basic support for education, basic health clinics, and minimal subsistence. We're not providing any help to people. Along with mandatory service and mandatory service for women. Holy shit, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, hello there, everyone. I'm just interrupting the video right now to tell you that you better like the video, because if you don't, then Kim Jong-un is going to appear inside of your house, and he is going to eat all of your remaining rice. Look at this boy. He is hungry, and he will not take no for an answer. So like the video. All right, first things first, we're going to need to get some measure of energy. We don't even have any weapons. Are you sure? I would expect there to at least be military factories, but no, there's not. Let's build some small arms then, of which we're just stockpiling, actually. We have a single, we have one military factory and one civilian factory. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. <laughs> Guys, this is going to be awful. And we have 75 divisions. Okay, you know, first things first, we're going to take half of this, perhaps? All these basic infantry divisions. Yeah, we're just going to delete these. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Reduce our military costs. Airborne and sniper? No, fuck that. We, we don't need any of this. Delete. Delete all of these. Give me back all that manpower. Give me back all that equipment. We're just going to get rid of it. We don't want to have to pay for all that for the military. There we go. We reduced it by over half. We'll keep we'll keep these 33 around as a just in case. I don't know. Technology-wise, we have almost a hundred. Are you kidding me? Minus 96% to tech. How long would it take us to research? Eight thousand. What the fuck? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't fucking matter. What the fuck, man? And I guess let's just get a get a civvy going. There's not like we can do anything else right now. 
And let's look at this focus tree. We actually have, it's not a huge focus tree, but it is a, it is a pretty wide one from the looks of it. Politics wise for treating our people, we can either focus on feeding the people or focus on supporting the military. Bullets, not bread. That is the system, I guess, in this case. The 38th parallel, the road to peace, the road to war. Oh God, we can threaten the South. Oh, we can do all of this. Oh, oh there, there's some fun shit. What is this, strike Washington? I don't know if we're even gonna reach here. First things first, we need to fix our economy. Prioritize the civilians. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread, people. Our economy is already looking a little bit better considering that we deleted half of our military. Wait, and how am I losing political? I'm losing political power? Oh God, oh God. We're gonna need to reduce all this. Uh, Gigantic military spending. Yeah, we're gonna reduce that down to a very large, I think. Spend less on the military, reduce our overall costs, cost less in the form of political power, and that should help us a little bit. But we are so unstable. Non-aggression pact with China. Yes, yes, please. USS coal bombing. Oh, this is my first time seeing this from the other side. <laughs> Dead Americans, good. Wow, <laughs> wow. Hey, what is this power struggle? Sooner or later, the great leader of North Korea today, comrade Kim Jong-il will die in a successor undoubtedly between one of his two sons, Kim Jong-nam and Kim Jong-un. But a country cannot have two masters and they both have to find a way to gain their father's trust, tipping the scales in favor of either side until an heir is identified will result in less stability. Wow, okay, this is, this is actually a really interesting system here. All right, prioritizing the arduous march, that is done. Next up on here, reform the national rationing system. Remove some corruption. I think, uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think that that's going to be a little bit important to make sure our people don't fucking starve. Really are living out the communist dream now, aren't we? It was this arduous march. Korean famine was a period of mass starvation together with the general economic crisis from 94 to 98 in North Korea, also known as the arduous march. Current effects of the famine in North Korea, the arduous march for, wait, what is this? Oh, oh, I can, I can accept aid. Yeah, let's definitely go ahead and do that. All right, reform the national rationing system. That is done. Excellent. Uh, DPRK, Jung Mung Dung. What is this? The market grounds of the North Korean farmers market, local markets, and black markets relying solely on a planned economy has proven insufficient to keep people afloat. Perhaps the government must tolerate market economy to a certain extent. It's just a little bit of capitalism. That's never hurt anyone. Certainly a lot less than communism, to be fair. We are also so horribly in debt. This is, this is so bad. Another thing is we could make things better by going and actually taking care of that stuff with the black market, but the problem is that's going to increase pro-Western support and non-aligned support by plus 0.3. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Communism all the way, baby. We don't need the fucking black market. We live off the love of our glorious leader. Let's go ahead and get land reclamation. Fix our, fix our freaking government. Come on. Oh, we no longer suffer from talent loss. Is that going to help us with our research? Yes, it is. St still, still in debt. We're, we, that's getting worse. Whoa, economic boom in North Korea? <laughs> what? Oh, baby, I'll take it. I will freaking take it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 100% historical accuracy. Absolutely. It, it, it too, makes too much sense. Makes too much sense, in fact. And now healthcare, because of course, of course, we North Koreans care about the health of our people. Have you not seen how skinny, I mean, in shape the people are? Okay, seriously though, this debt is getting out of hand. I, I, can't, I can't even get more industry <laughs> and we're getting our healthcare. This is just not good at all. Oh God, this is hurting us so bad. This is hurting us so bad. Um, Ask for a debt bailout and see if we can get some cheap loans. Let's see if that works. Russia does grant a bailout. Awesome. Okay, that's going to reduce that by quite a lot actually. And we're going to pay less in terms of interest. Still not great for us though. Still still, still not, not great for us though. Yes, we have now slowly begun to recover. Who knows when will actually be good though. Now it's just time to finish all these off and uh, go even more into debt from stimulation. Ah uh, yes, the famous North Korean tourism industry, of course. And who can forget about the backbone of the Korean economy? That being selling a whole bunch of illegal shit on the black market. This is just perfect. Ah uh, yay, we're down to only minus 41% research now. In the year 2000, we may finally figure out how to use computers in their most early form. And yes, after all is said and done, finally, the great leader, under the great leadership of Kim Jong-un, we have finally done it. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say finally done it, but I, I, I don't think this applies still very well. well Oh, Macedonia, Yugoslavia, Russia on Yugoslavia. Why? Good luck to you, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Macedonia got puppeted immediately, but is still at war with Russia. So good luck. And ah, uh, yes, we fixed our economy. What do we do? Build a massive fuck off hotel that doesn't actually do anything. It's a massive drain on resources, eh, but at least it gives us a little bit of money. Okay, this debt is actually getting really bad at this point. Um, I, I, I think that we're gonna have some problems. We're paying almost a billion dollars in interest. This is really bad. Wait, China, China, why the fuck would you cancel a non-aggression back with me? China, China, please, for the love of God, don't do this to me. Wait, and then why would you immediately offer it again? What the fuck? Pakistan declares war 
in Afghanistan. Come on. The rest of the world is doing such fun, wild things. I can't do shit because I am getting worse and worse and worse into debt. Quick, call the IMF. What, what, what will they do? How our people be even less educated? Okay, IMF, sure. We're North Korea. We don't need a fucking education. It does drastically reduce how much I'm actually having to pay, though, so I, I will definitely take that. And I'll simultaneously get some cheap loans from them, reduce that interest rate even further. All right, there we go. We built a, we built a fucking hotel. That makes total sense for our economy. Now, next step, uh, re revi revive the economy that we just fucking bankrupted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're doing a very good job. All right, now do we focus on the civilians or the military? Well, as North Korea, normally we'd focus on the military, but I, we can't sustain any of it. Oh, wow, 2003. Now we finally have some terrorist attacks in the United States. It wasn't me this time. I promise. All right, civilian industry, that's done. And now send you get more civilian factories and even more debt. Because if we're going to add, why not? Why not just add more to the pile? Quick, we got even more debt. What is the solution? Arms smuggling. Yep, you heard it here, folks. All right, and after selling all of our weapons, it's time we finally realize we're fucking economically backwards. You don't say, now do you, Kimmy boy? But quick, before corruption gets even worse. Lure no, no, it's 300 sig- No! I'm going to lose all that political power I'm not going to be able to lower my corruption again. Oh, and look, Afghanistan got puppeted and my loans are now up. Great. Wait a minute. I think I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get to the point that we're going to be able to lower corruption. Thank God. Okay. And hey, we finally caught up on computers. We are no longer a backwards. Okay. No, we're totally still a backwards state, but we're working on it. We'll finally figure out 2G technology. Oh my God, with one day, we actually made it. Okay, lower corruption, do that. Perfect, that'll help our economy because we're about to get a whole lot less political power. But it's okay. Now we cannot do anything until the year 2009. So let's go ahead and reduce spending and see what it is that we can do. Because honestly, I think North Korea has not really gotten anything worked on it yet. Like it, none, none of this has happened. So yeah, we wouldn't be able to do literally any of this anyway. So all we could focus on is our national defense and lower our military spending. Yes, we're going to piss off the Korean people's army. It happens. It's fine. It is what it is. Because now we can focus on our true goal. I'll leave you to figure out what that might be. But before we decide exactly what we're going to do, uh, I think it's time that we focus a little bit on our own developments first. Hero 121, because of course, the North Koreans specialize in cyber warfare. I mean, just look at our technical capabilities. Our right, next step on here, getting a debt bailout from the IMF, which wants us to remove our one single military factory. God damn it. I have one. I have one military factory making guns. Oh, it's a drain on your nation's resources. Really? Fine, we have no choice but to accept. So be it. At least we're, we're so close to being like almost debt free or rather to like be in the positives production wise, but we're still draining. We're still losing and we are North Korea without any military factory. What am I role playing right now? All right, now maybe we finally figure out how to produce guns. You know, once, once we actually have factories again to produce them, nothing like some revolutionary spirit, I guess. Oh my God, we're finally in the positives slightly we are ever so slightly in the positives which means i can start paying down interest if i can pay down some of the debt gradually if i decrease the amount of interest that i'm paying we're gonna do this we're gonna do this people wait a minute did al gore just get elected president what happened to the war on terror how did that happen oh wow first one we see the czech republic leaving the european union the united states declared war on jordan why? why why would you do that saudi arabia declares war on jordan what did jordan do what, what, what what did Jordan do? Oh, wait, Islamic Action Front. Oh, oh, I'm guessing they got a little bit extreme. Wait, what is this? Air border incursion? Following an air border incursion by a foreign combat aircraft, the military demanding that we bolster our air defenses in the region. We can build SAM sites or additional military industry. Rebuff demands that hurts the military. Oh, whoa, I just get two military factories for 15. I'll fucking do that. Yes, give me back my military industry. This is exactly what I needed. And I guess since we're focusing on pure economic matters for the time being, time to initiate a five-year plan because we as a communist power can actually do that china draws international condemnation for uyghur internment camps ah pff, nah i don't know what you're talking about no doesn't exist not a thing please don't cancel me a general has asked kim jong-un to promise him more power when kim jong-un takes over sure why not or i can't promise that no fuck off you will be promoted by military competence and also whether or not you are starving to death those are the qualifications within our country expand the peasant militia because all peasants are willing to die for daddy kim whoa china blockades the taiwanese island 
silence. Is that actually happening? Oh no. Oh no. Looks like we're going to get a little aggressive over here. Now let's go ahead and rebuild the Kim Il Sung Military Institute because it increases our attack and defense while also decreasing our attack and defense. Yeah, this is perfect. North Korea, advanced computing. It makes too much sense. Article 50, Estonia, Estonia now leaving. Well, that's just some fun for the Europeans now, isn't it? Wait, Lithuania is now leaving the EU and United States declares war on Cuba. Why? Al Gore, you hyper-aggressive motherfucker. And how the fuck does the Democratic Party have 82% of the vote? What the fuck? United States assumed faction leader of the Com- What the fuck is the Commonwealth? You, when, when, when did you form an alliance with Britain? What are you doing, Al Gore? What the fuck are you guys doing? Oh, Cuba. Cuba gets puppeted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would anticipate that happening with everything here. Oh, wow. And Sudan is now going through a civil war. That's just pleasant. Wait, no. Sudan is at war with Sudan, which is also at war with South Sudan. What the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck is going all across Africa? What is this? What is this chicken pox bullshit? Whoa, whoa, Japan. Akito of the House of Yamato, the nationalist outlook takes over Japan. You fuckers better not do this again. Empire of Japan, my ass. Oh shit, no wait, I shouldn't say that. They'll probably take that as an invite. Advanced computing, that means it's time for industrial espionage. Speaking of espionage, it's time to develop our own little industry. Reconnaissance General Bureau, nah. North K-pop, the most disruptive force in the world. South Africa, South Africa, I thought you were supposed to be peaceful now. No, I guess not. Honestly, we're probably gonna hard focus on industrial espionage because there's no way in hell we're gonna be able to recruit a lot ourselves. Ooh, and scientists, that's exactly what we want. We're just gonna <laughs> send you over to California. And don't you worry, Yuji Min, you'll fit in right with the communists of Los Angeles. Or what is it? China pivots towards India. India, India, really? And Greece is going far right, all right? I love how this entire time as North Korea, we have focused exclusively on our civilian aspects, nothing on the military, but now because of that, we're able to get into our intelligence. And baby, I'm going to take everything from the United States at this point. Whoa, whoa. Chinese and Japanese fighter jets and engage in aerial combat. Oh, no. Oh, no. A third Sino-Japanese war. Oh, no. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Now, Novorossa declares war on Ukraine. Ukraine joins the CSTO. Wait, wasn't CSTO? That, that's Russia. Did Ukraine just ally itself with Russia? Oh, my God, they did. What the fuck? Well, there, 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 there. I guess there goes the whole Don bass issue then who will be the heir to the throne kim jong-il won't live long he must choose a successor among his two sons kim jong-un prefers conservative reform of the country's political and economic system and kim jong-nam prefers socialist market economy reform well definitely kim jong-un that's that's who we want that's who we want i want my tubby boy to know that there is food in north korea now so he'll have more to eat right we're on syria oh no are we getting even more fun of the middle east how is iraq doing this and why hasn't the united states taken them out why are they still fighting Jordan. Oh, wait, no, they're not. The Islamic, the Islamic Caliphate is back under the house of Saud. Holy shit. China shells Kinmen. Oh no, war is coming. They're gonna take out Taiwan. Even more overseas recruitment centers. We're getting more spies. China declared war on the Republic of China. Oh no, it's actually happening. Wait, wait, wait. Is Republic of China guaranteed by the United States? No, no, it's not. Oh, they're just gonna get taken out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, increase triggers Article 50. The world burns. Wait, the Republic of China just when they launched an invasion. Oh my God. Oh, we have four agents within the United States now continuously building up our strength. Ah, uh, yes, time to steal some blueprints. Now, John McCain is the head of the American government, okay? Oh, wait, it is now 2009. I did not even realize. Can we do this now? Can we do this now? 2009 reevaluation? No, we have to wait till September. Okay. The entire time we've been doing this, we've just been storing political power and gradually reducing our corruption. We are no longer a corrupt state, everyone. It only took nine years of dedicated work. Israel sets nuclear forces on alert. Oh no. Yeah, considering what's going on here, I, I don't really blame you. Now Romania triggers Article 50. No one wants to be in the EU, apparently. Oh wait, I forgot it is September. That means that we can go ahead and move on here. The 2009 reevaluation. I don't know what this is gonna do. Now Denmark leaves the EU. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I haven't even done anything. It's been like nine years. Our 2009 revaluation. On 3rd of November 2009, North Korean officials announced a full-scale currency reform to revalue the currency from the 1st of December 
December with a limit of 100,000 old coins per household. What will be the exchange rate between the old currency and the new one? 25 old to one new or 100 old to new. Oh, oh okay, okay. So I can spend all my political power and it's going to hurt the amount of money that I have, but I would basically devalue my currency. No, nah, I'm going to make people happy. I'm going to make people happy. Their, their money will be worth more. And you know what? With a thriving industry, I think it's time we start preparing for a little bit of fun. Revaluation success. After all of our efforts, our currency reform has finally succeeded. Hey, hey, we did it. Excellent. Let's go ahead and cancel that. We're not going to declare war yet. Currency, money before all else. But like, like, like a true communist state, you know. We're going to get free housing. We're going to privatize a couple of the collective farms. We're going to really boost our economy and get this going. North Korea, the true worker's paradise. That's what it is. Free houses for everybody. Smolensk air disaster. Oh, whoa, the president of Poland died. What the fuck? Well, shit. Time to expand our education, I guess. And with that all done, I think it's time we uh, finally start preparing for some fun. The US imperialists and the South Korean puppets were and are and never will be able to follow the true unification of Korea. Reunification by force is the eternal truth. Indeed it is. There was ever really only one option now, wasn't there? Uh, Japan? Japan, why, why, why are you abandoning your defensive principles? Stop it, stop it, you fuckers. All right, there's the road to war. No turning back now, time to move on. Accelerate testing, get this ready. Time to assign some generals and why the fuck do these guys look like babies? These look like literal old man children. We're going to now buy as much military equipment as we possibly can from China because boy, we are probably going to end up needing it. Japan declares interventionism. No, no, Japan. When you did that before, Korea kind of had some issues. Whoa, wait, what? I also realized, when did I have a 100% control over Korea? What? Wait, 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 what? Hold on, let's just, just, let's just manipulate their politics a little bit. And then should I go for coup? Wait, whoa, wait, hold on, hold on. They are $1.9 trillion in debt. No, 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 no. I don't want to go down the puppet path. I do, I'm literally just spent my entire time working down my debt. I am not making that same mistake that I did as France. Now the US has to get itself involved in Afghanistan because of course it does. When would it not? All right, ready, nuclear weapons. Begin to threaten the South because why not? And Pakistan declares war on Afghanistan. Pakistan joins the commonwealth what the fuck why <laughs> yep afghanistan gets puppeted oh wait no did it get split into two parts again it it did it, it, what the fuck so we got a puppet of the united states and we got a puppet of pakistan that just makes perfect sense now it's time to shut down communications and we're just gonna keep on buying more weapons whoa whoa wait 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 wait, wait. i didn't do that we will fight to our last breath bitch they declared war on me wait a damn minute fuck you all out war time all right we're gonna need to buy as much fuel as we possibly can and we're gonna need to keep this going because fuck this is gonna be hard for us i think we're losing five billion a week quick send me aid send me all the aid you can thank you oh everyone wants to help north korea thank you so much holy shit are they genuinely launching an invasion they're genuinely launching an invasion on me here okay you fuckers you fuckers you japanese fuckers you fuckers sent even more Holy shit, are they actually attacking me? They're actually attacking me down here? What the fuck? All right, we are gonna wipe them out. Come on, come on, come on. We got this, we got this. Focus entirely on repair because that is all that we can do now in this scenario. How many of you lost so far? Holy shit, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. We're holding, we're holding. All right, just let them throw themselves against me. This is perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. All we need to do is just hold on out and we will be okay. Wait, are they attacking? From the They're attacking from this side now. Are you shitting me? Stop. Stop attacking me here. God damn it. Now Qatar declares war on Israel. Everything is burning to the ground at once. Just hold the border, my brothers. Hold. Holy shit, this is brutal so far. Okay. Oh, oh, we got a little breakthrough. We got a little breakthrough. And the Japanese are still trying to attack. All right, can you break through there? No, no, we can't. No, we can't. All right, all right. That, that's the most we could do. We've breached the DMZ. There we go. We have a breakthrough. We have a breakthrough on Intel. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Go, my brothers. Sacrifice your lives. Sacrifice your lives in the name of greater crit. No, fuck you, Japan. No, stop pulling this shit on me. Every time I try to go south, Japan just wants to deal with me. Come on. Come on. Surround and destroy. Surround and destroy. We got this. Come on. We are making way south. We are breaking through the DMZ. Keep going. I am sacrificing so many of my people's lives for this shit. Then again, I'm North Korea. Do I actually care? Come on, we've taken Seoul. We're trying to move south. Come on, we got this. We got this. Let's just go. Comrade Kim Jong- No, Kim Jong-il, no. Who will take the reins now? The funeral committee is in charge. 
Central Bank of Korea warns of a possible housing bubble. I think the bigger worry is that well, the houses are exploding right now. God, we can't seem to break through. We're burning through all that new equipment that we had, and now we only have the backwards technology stuff. How many men have I lost so far? Oh, no, just a good 40,000 lives. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. National focus, Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un is now in charge of North Korea. That's right, chubby boy. It's time to eat the South. Come on, come on. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. It's, it's a repeat of the first Korean War. Just hopefully the Americans don't get involved in this one. Come on, grind your way through. Grind your way through. There we go. Come on, come on. The Japanese don't have any divisions left to try and take us out. We already wiped out every invasion force they sent. Wait, hold on. That means that I should be able to send these to stuff. Oh, I should have done this earlier to try and break through. Come on. 80,000. We have lost so many more. We are throwing ourselves at this front line. Like, we don't even care. We don't even care. Just send all of them. Send all of them. We have a surplus of equipment. We have a surplus of bodies. We could use a little less population, I think, as every communist state agreed. Come on. Come on. We're right here. We're right here. Break through, you bitches. Oh, we're out of fuel. God damn it. Finally. Finally. Oh, my God. That took way too fucking long. Oh, that was awful. That, that was absolutely awful. Okay, well, Korea, you're, you're all mine. That settles that. And then we already wiped out essentially the entirety of the Japanese military. They have no divisions but I think they still have a navy. So this should go rather quick, I think. The great nation of Korea has finally been reunited and after many decades of painful separation. The task of reintegrating the two halves is far from over. Yeah, no shit. This is causing some serious pain, but it's okay. Korea is reunified. Come on, buddies. Come on. Realistically, there was only ever one way that this could happen. Korea gets its revenge, buddies. And not a single person in Japan has a gun to be able to defend themselves. How tragic, how tragic. And there goes Japan, knocking them out. We'll take that too. Fuck you, revenge for us. My, how the turns have tabled. Ain't that right, bitch? And we get embargoed by everyone, but it doesn't matter because we already have international sanctions. And you know what? I think this is a significantly prettier world. Everyone, this has been Stakui with a Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough with the Millennium Dawn mod. And that was uh, that was a lot of chaos, a lot of pain, and that scared the ever-loving shit out of me a lot. But hey, if you like what you see, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As I said earlier in this video, if this video can get 7,000 likes, then we will go ahead and do another Millennium Dawn episode. So you better like that video. I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye, everyone.